Hello, this is Sophie Dawson from SophieDawson.com and this is another click look video where we quickly click look at various art books and magazines. <laughs> a little day at the donkeys with us today. He's, well, I think he's happy, but he's actually got his bum, he's stuck up a, what's it called, water bottle. But he looks quite cool there. I thought, what I thought to myself when I put him on there was how cool his, his little silhouette looks. Because <laughs> he's got, he looks cool. But this, today we are looking at this which is an envelope. <laughs> no, we're going to open it up in a minute and inside should be issue number 203 of the Imagine FX magazine which is the latest issue for the 2021. It's the September 2021 one, <laughs> the one ones. And all so far, these are the three that I've got so far for this year. They've all had bums on them. <laughs> look at that, Pro Proko's bum. Stan Prokopenko's bum. So I'm curious if this one's going to have another bum on it. But also, what's the cover going to be like? Opening it up and seeing the cover is my favourite piece. It's my favourite bit of the thing. So, last week we looked at this one, which was issue number 202, an anime special. That was a cool issue, but it's actually, so far, it's my third favourite cover. My second favourite was this one, 201, which was Bobby Chi, or Bobby Ch Chiel, Cho. And I thought that was brilliant. That was like a creature special. And this one here was actually the 200th issue, and so this has got my favourite cover so far for the year of 2021. It's a Peniel Oram cover, and I thought that one popped. So I'll put links and everything in the description for each of these issues, but so far this is my favourite, issue 200. Let's hope that the issue 203, which is September 2021, let's hope this one's got the best cover ever. Let's go and have a look at it. A little Derek the donkey. <laughs> Look, look, look. Pop. So let's get into this one then. This is the moment of truth. Is issue number 203 going to have a better cover than issue 200? I'm going to say no. I don't, I personally, I think this cover here is going to be the best cover of the 2021 issues. F for me at least. I love that one. I thought it was brilliant. So let's get into this one. I hope you don't mind, but little Derek the Donkey is going to use a pair of scissors today. Because what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make a video this week. This week, or I'll be mostly making a video. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to compare the character design quality magazines with the Imagine FX magazines. And what I want to do is, I want to compare the packaging. That's one of the things. Because I feel like when you subscribe to a magazine, the packaging is just as important as the actual issue because if the packaging's bad you might end up with a look at that look for instance the, the thingy has got ripped so I'm going to talk about that in a minute well in another video here we go right firstly uh, hey, hey look you've got a bum boing little de little what's he called donkey little Derek the donkey likes his bums so oh this is quite exciting what's on the side it's a white one what does it say? It says issue 203, improve your illustration techniques, Photoshop techniques, Kayo Omi interview, artists unite against NFTS. I don't know what that means. I keep seeing that. Speed model, a fantasy scene. Cool. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, this is, oh, this is quite hard now, isn't it? Oh, I don't know which one's better. Look at this, look. Oh, this is brilliant, this one. Wow, that's cool. I like, I even love the detailing around the edge, look. They're like a little border. This is some sort of like, um, mystical being. Oh, this is almost, this is almost 50-50. This is one of those situations, I think, where at the end of the year, I'll have these two side by side, and one day I could say that's my favourite. The next day I could say that is. What I like about this one is, at the moment, I'm gonna, I am gonna. I can't decide. I let little, the, the, little, um, oh, I keep, little, what's his face? What's he called? Dave? No, he's not called Dave. He's called Don, Donkey. Derek, eh, Derek. I'll let little Derek come um, decide. Dun, 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 dun. 
I think it'll get you this one. Yeah, I think he's gonna just say this one. Maybe it's only because it's new though. <laughs> so like in a few a few weeks time, it might be that one. But the, what I like, look, I like this little thing here. But look at the um, brush strokes on that. Look, it's all like ziggies, squiggles. This is by the artist Moon. Wow, this is cool. It says improve your illustration. So it looks like that's what's going to be. So little Derek, Derek's going to let us in. Dun da da. Hey, what's he doing here? What's he doing here? If you've been reading this fantasy since it's wrote, you may recognise my ugly mug. Yeah, because what happened was, well, our little favourite friend Claire, who's been here for ages, years, she went off to have a baby once, and that was in 2012, I think it was. 2012, she went off to have a baby, and he was here. <laughs> he was here. Well, what's happening here, look? This is my second stint in the hot seat. Imagine that person has been... Where's Claire? Oh, I hope Claire's... Look, I think Claire might have left. Because... Where's Claire? Oh, I don't like this. There's something not right about this. This is Claire's magazine. Well, we're going to have to do a bit of research here. If I find out what's happened to her, maybe he's killed her. <laughs> yeah, maybe Ian got a bit jealous and he's killed her. I like these here, look. I like these things here. So we've got a little um, art studio here. This is going to be cool. Oh, yeah, look at these, look. This is kind of like a dreamy issue. Yeah. There's a sort of a dream vibe going on here, on this one. And that artist studio looks very high tech. So this is the not DVD, which we'll look at later. Go into that in a little bit later. Now oh, that thing there is going to make me a bit sad because they're giving that away free. If you subscribe to this magazine, look, if you subscribe to it now, you get it for free. And the thing is, if you've already subscribed, you can't get it. So it leaves a bit of a bad taste in my mouth, that does. But that's the way it goes, I guess. <laughs> that's the way the cookie crumbles. This is the FX Pose A bit. This is actually little Dennis's favourite thing, but little Don. Oh, yeah, look at these. This is like a little. little anime. Oh, I must have taken ages to do that one. Who's this, look? Javirio Kosho from Pakistan. I thought she would have been Japanese or Chinese. Sexy. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, look, Derek likes that as well. Little dragons. We like our dragons. I like her purport. Look, she's a robot. Oh, weird. She's a um, a hybrid. A hu look at that, look. One minute you've got this, next minute you've got this. That's why I loved it. Look at this one here, look. How powerful is that? See, he's not afraid, he's fearless, that guy. Fearless. Oh, I'm loving this um, FX pose a bit. He's got a little fishy there. That little man, massive fishy thing. This is like a bit like a video game. So shady. -y. Artists Unite. What is MTF's NFTs? I, I don't know. They keep talking about this on things. That's a nice one. Friendly. Oh. That's what I imagine it was like in the ancient past. Animals and humans, friends. Look, I, I've got, there's something about the connection between humans and animals, it's... Who's this artist here then? I'd like to um, have a look into that one. She is cool as well. Painter 2022. Oh, some really beautiful art in this one. 
Finding inspiration in politics and protests. Look at this for art studio, look. I think it's a bit too high tech for me, but it's cool though. I like that. I want one of these. Put all my bits of paper in. God, there's just so much in there, look. That's pretty mad. Glenn Southern. He's got a monster here as well, look. Yeah, I do like that actually, because he's got his traditional there. And then the, I would say, what's that? 80% digital. But it's nice that he's still doing his traditional stuff. Oh, look, look at that for... That's almost like an art shop. Got little models down here, look. I like those. Look at him, look. <laughs> He's quite fun, doesn't he? Got a little dinosaur as well. Where's um, a James Gurney? I bet he's got James Gurney's books. Look, he's got a, he's he's got a little art he's got a little art shop, and he's got a little library as well. He must be rolling in it, I think. Here's a letters page with Ian instead of our little friend Claire. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write in, where's Claire? <laughs> what have you done with... I love this, look. Koya Mori. Now this is an artist I'd look into. It's like, um... Everything's made of um, clouds or something. Really nice colours as well. Oh yeah. Look. This is a little bit like Katamari. Not really, but a little bit. It's got that sort of crazy vibe about it. What cool little characters these are, look. <laughs> look at him there, the one, that one. Coming out of the, um, what is it, he's coming out. They're living inside of a, looks like a, um, a pork chop or something. Oh, this is a cool artist here. Koyamori. This is another thing I love about these magazines. What a shape. Look at that shape. She almost looks a bit like a flower. What I like about these is when you, you get to meet some really nice inspirational artists from these magazines. Oh, look. Oh, this art, oh, this art has got an art book. If his artist's got a cool, Len Nicholas. What a cool, car cool characters these are. Look, curvy, straight, I love that. <laughs> he looks cool as well. And him. He looks a bit sad though, doesn't he? I don't think he wants to be in that little suit. <laughs> oh yeah, look, otter. Super otter. What a cool sketchbook this is. <laughs> look how happy he is, look. He's got a gun as well. He's just killed someone. He should, look, he's just gone off. He's, he's just killed someone and now he's dancing. Every day, sort of. He's like, I reckon he's an assassin. Cheerful assassin. I love that one, I do. And that one. Fill a character with, co with colours. Yeah, this is brilliant. That would be a nice poster. I, I love the way that... Is this a traditional one? Yeah, I thought it was. Traditional. That's how they got the cool textures and stuff. Next, I next issue, which will be probably three or four weeks time, we'll be looking at this one. Boost your creativity with pro advice on mastering colour in your portraits. Artist Aaron Oborto. I love this one here. Oh yeah. Controlling detail in a scene. What cool perspective. Look at these um characters here, look. That's my belly rumbling. I like the lines on this one. I like the lines and the perspective. 
quite cool that is. God, look at it there, it's even cool in the, um, look, in this sketch there was no lady there, or no girl. Hmm. Hey, we talked about this on the, this week's podcast, guiding the eye of the viewer, you can actually, that's probably why they put the one there. I bet the reason they put that girl there was to sort of move, move, you, move you through the scene. Yeah, because otherwise you would have gone like that, but now you go like that. Yeah, that you do, don't you? <laughs> she looks happy. Here's all the issues for 2021. I've got to try and get these. Oh, yeah. Look, little cat. Where's little Dennis? Little Dennis likes these cats. They're cool, aren't they? Oh, look how cool she is as well. Look at her little nose. It's a simple... Ah, oh, there's a cat in the window, look. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a cat up there as well. Cool. I wonder if this is an artist who hides little cats in their paintings. What's this one about? Painting with shapes and colours. Oh, look at this. That is brilliant, isn't it? There's hardly any detail in this as well. Very simple. Speed model, a fantasy scene. That's on the videos as well. One of the videos. Where's his willy? Hee <laughs> Look, Derek. There's just a blob there. Lowish. Here's our reviews. The good thing about this is we can now actually, um, these reviews are like latest reviews. iMac Pro, that's the new one I suppose. Nothing wrong with the old ones though, that's what I say. <laughs> the Art of Star Wars. Blade Runner. Basics of Drawing, the Ultimate Guide for Beginners. Got a 3 out of 5. Got a bit harsh this, this um, issue, look. 2 out of 5. I suppose at least they're being honest. Traditional art. Little dragon. Oh, cool. Victoria Ged Villas. I like this one. Well, she's cool. She looks a little bit like um, somebody famous. Who is it? I can't remember. Katy Perry, is it? I like this one, though. I like all the brush strokes and stuff. That's cool. Oh, this is an artist to look into, I think. Oh, look at her as well. What's these done with then? Oil, is it? Must be. Watercolour, look. Walking. That's cool. Little, um, fan... look, he's like a sort of a organic human thing. Oh, look at that. Yeah, these are sort of like, um, they're sort of like, um, the earth as a human. They're almost like sort of, um, I like that. Huh? Painting with gouache. Here he is, they're pretending to be working, as they always do. <laughs> I, like, I like it when they do that. God, that looks cool. The clouds. Looks very realistic. Paper Revolution, and that's it. That first impressions, traditional artist interview. Well, that's it for this one. We're going to go and have a look at the not DVD now. What have we got coming up on the not DVD? We've got oh, I'm going to I'm going to enjoy that one. We've got a video on that one. We've got a little frog as well. Let's go and have a look at that. Little Derek's going to help us with this one. Hee. <laughs> Sounds like my um, computer's going to take off here. Yeah? Right. Watch this. Look at look, even the website's got loads of adverts everywhere. Like there's something about adverts that makes me un unhappy. I've always been like that. So this is the little not DVD, this is the website page. And the first thing that struck me was look how different the cover looks with all the writing on it. 
takes away a lot of the sexiness I think but what we've got in this one is we've got workshops there's not much in this one actually we've got a painting with shapes and colors we've got the video and the brushes speed model of fantasy scene and painting clouds with gouache that'd be fun I hope these videos have got audio that's the thing and then we've got some classic illustration workshop videos but these are on YouTube so I won't be looking at those but what I have got have <laughs> I've downloaded all of the content, so that's all the things. I've downloaded all the content, so let's get, what will you start with? Well, here's the, here's the brushes for the speed model painting. But again, I don't open those up because I don't want to be installing things without... But that's a good thing here, look. These are sort of Photoshop brushes. They actually will work with Affinity Photo, which is quite cool. So that was quite cool. All the um, Photoshop plugins they actually work with affinity photo so let's start with this one here the speed model speed model oh this was cool this one yeah this, imagine effects look hey folks I hello run through how i made this illustration i'll speed up the footage and hone in on key points i don't hey, usually start my blender scenes from scratch i have a library of assets that i've already made and assets that I've bought from other artists. Oh, this goes into something I talked about on the podcast. I, well, I looked this week's podcast. I was talking about she was well, she was talking about Raquel. She was talking about drawing props and stuff. And I thought to myself, you spend like an hour drawing, say, a kettle for for a drawing. And what happens is you can save that kettle, and then when you do another drawing in a year's time, you don't have to redraw the kettle. You could just reuse it. I like that this one's got the audio. A free nighttime image from Pexels.com and change the layer mode to lighter. Little bit, little bit of advertising <laughs> inside. That's cool though. So uh, what I like about this is when we get the audio, it's a lot more informative. So this one here is shapes and colours. I'm leaving the clouds to the end. I'm excited for that one. Oh look at the colours on this one. 40 minutes. It's a 40 minute video this. Oh, I love this one. Yay! Look, cute little music as well. So, this artist, not only are they drawing beautiful little artworks, they're also, like, they've got a fun vibe about them. That, again, goes into this week's podcast. Uh, I said, like, if the, if the artist has got a fun vibe, that fun vibe comes out into the artwork. Hey, look. Cool. Hello. Hello. And welcome to my Imagine FX workshop. My name is Duran, and I'm a freelance artist in the Philippines who loves to draw backgrounds and environments. Oh, what a cool presentation. This is like a, a James Gurney. Today I'll be walking you through the process and how I paint an environment using shapes and color. Shapes. So before we begin, I would like to share to you some of my tools introduction using the lasso tool and my brushes. Oh, I'm watching I this. So let's then get polygons. Yeah, this would be brilliant. I love the music. Look, little pretty cats. They're my favourite things, they were. I started. Oh. Here we go, look, that's their little. That's their little um, websites and stuff. This is an artist to look into, I think. What a fun little video. I wish I'd saved that to the end now. So this one here, the, we're looking at the clouds with gouache. Hey, my name is Justin Donaldson and today right. we're painting a landscape with massive I love clouds. this one, the clouds. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the major ideas that I like to use when creating landscape painting. Do you, do you know what? I feel like the videos are better now. In the old days, when we had the DVDs, we used to get loads of videos, but they had no audio. Now we get less videos with the not DVDs, but we get because you get the audio. I feel like it's actually it's better. I would rather have less. Yeah, I would. I'd rather have less videos with audio than loads of them with without. Look how real that looks. That's brilliant. His little brush saying hello. Hee <laughs> Little brush popped in to say hello. It is Ed there, look. Hello. 
Let's go a bit of red down here. Every time that we put down a stroke, every time we put down paint, every time we put down the water, we're changing the the way that everything behaves. Oh, this is cool, isn't it? These are brilliant. Yeah, much, much better videos now. So it's a more complete package. <laughs> so that's it for issue number 203 of the Imagine FX magazine. And I've got to say, what a beautiful issue that is. The cover is amazing. The content is amazing. I think this might actually be the best issue of the 2021 so far. There's some really amazing artists in here that I want to look into. But the question is, which cover do you like better? Which do you think is the best one so far? Well, what do you think is the best one out of all of these covers so far? Hopefully you can see them all. So we've got this one, 203. We've got this one here. Well, this one, 202. 201. And also 200. Which one's your favourite one? I've got a feeling this might be, I don't know. I'm not sure. But I hope you enjoyed that. Beautiful it was. What we're going to do now is, I've actually already recorded all of the 2013 Imagine FX magazines. I recorded them about a month ago. <laughs> so for next week, for the next 14 weeks, we'll be looking at the issues from 2013. But what I'll do is every time a new 2021 issue comes out, I'll just do it straight away. So they'll be sprinkled in over the next sort of, every month we'll get a new 2021 one. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you later for another one. Doo -doo -doo.